All right, day one is done. We're on day two now. They are into the, the clover, the next section here. You can see it's blocked off there and right behind them there. You can now kind of see better the six spots. It's not perfectly straight because I didn't change the water so it goes at an angle. And it's a paddock and you know, it doesn't need to be perfectly straight. But yeah, so this is, the, this is what they were on yesterday. Look at that. It's all eaten down, look. All munched. Except one little flower. No, I'm kidding. There's several flowers in here. You know, so they don't take 100% off. They're probably maximizing. They're probably getting close to, oh, I don't know. Little stands like this are still hanging around. I'd say maybe 70% of the forage has been taken. We are getting really low in some spots down here. But then, of course, like I say, we have some nice stand of clover right here that's quite tall yet that they didn't even get into. But it's a very small area. This is like a one by two spot. They didn't touch any of the grasses by it. I think those are still cool season grasses. There's a couple other stands still here, like right here and, and right there and, and over there. But um, the vast majority of this is taken down quite a bit. And it's very cool to see that. And so now we have them on this little set here. Numo is still a little too tiny. He can crawl underneath the fence, which I'm okay about that. He also isn't eating as much as Thelma and Freda, so his impact is less when he escapes, so that's fine. Um, Atlas is still eating from Mama, as you can maybe even see down here. He's trying anyway, Mama's moving. Peekaboo, buddy. Hi, buddy. But they really get after this. Um, their water is full, just did that. You can even see how close they got up to the line. So the line was over here, straight there, because I moved it back for the water. Look at how close it is. You can almost see a section right next to the water here. Fine. So it's pretty cool to see the difference where they were and and uh, and everything. So moved their mineral, moved their water, got them set up for the day. Um, they have shade over in this corner here. Tomorrow they'll have shade over in that corner too. So they should be set. Day four is gonna be probably the hardest over in that corner because there's not a lot of shade over there. But day five and six should be pretty good. And then day seven, hopefully in a week, or six days now, I have that pasture sectioned off where the chickens are. And the chickens will come over here, hopefully. Thanks for watching, um, I appreciate it. I'm going to go for a run now, do some exercise. So thanks for checking it out. And uh, stay tuned for more updates on the paddocks, how they work, how the rotation is going, all that stuff. Okay? Awesome. Thank you.